Lovey Cakes. Today's video I'm going to show you how to make these super cute DIY envelopes and you can make as many as you want. So what you're going to need is this cutout and I'm going to have this on my blog so the link will be listed in the description box. Um, I just found it online and I cut it out. I also made a small one if you guys wanted to do mini envelopes you just change the size when you're going to print it. And then um, yeah, so then you're also going to need a scrapbooking paper or cardstock. Uh, you're going to need some Elmer's glue or a glue stick, and you're going to need a piece of like cardboard. And then I'm just turning over my cardstock paper and putting my cutout over it, lining up the edges on the side so I have a little bit less to cut out. And then I'm going to trace it. Make sure you just hold the paper as you trace along. And then you should get something that looks like this, a nice piece of traced um, envelope. It doesn't really look like an envelope yet. But then you're just going to cut it, cut it out, and you're going to get that. Lay your original envelope over it, the one that you printed out. And then you're going to take the cardboard, line it up with the sides where it says to fold, and you just fold it like that. And the cardboard just helps you get like evener lines. Evener is not even a word, but... It is now, so just fold up all the sides. Then take off your um, original, you know, printout thing and just fold up the sides. You want to do the sides first and not the top and the bottom of the envelope. And just fold it up, make sure the lines are all crispy and clean and, you know, your envelope's not open up, opening up on you. But then you want to open it up again anyway. And you're going to put glue on either the bottom or on the sides. But if you're doing it on the sides, you can't put the glue on the whole entire thing because the bottom flap is shorter than the side flap. So I would just recommend it putting it on the bottom. Then just hold it there for a little bit. Make sure it's all glued together and you have your cute DIY envelopes. So as you guys can see, I made a whole bunch of them. Well, just five. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!